Hi, I'm Darlene from Digital Photo Mentor. Do you know about the backslash key hack for the background removal tool? Well, if you're using the new background removal AI and you're having trouble using the refinement brush because you can't see the original image underneath the mask, then this little trick that I discovered is exactly what you need. Watch this quick tip video and I'll show you how. I know, for example, there should be some additional lines from the wings here to attach them to the plane, but when the mask is on, you notice that I can't see that. So by holding down the backslash key, you can actually see the original image and you can paint in this mode. So I'm just going to paint with a transition brush over those little sticks and we'll see what happens. Do you see that? Now we can see those lines. The next part we wanna look at is the smoke behind the plane. When we look at the before image, you can see this trail of smoke. It's actually kind of cool that it cut out the smoke because it gives you a choice. For this plane, for example, I can choose to cut it out like this, or we can try and add the smoke. So to add the smoke, I'm just gonna zoom in to 50%. So once, make sure I have the full edge of the image over here. So I'm just scrolling over with my mouse. Click the object button, and then I'm just gonna get a cursor or brush size about the same size as the smoke. Remember to use the backslash key. Okay, see that looks pretty close. Now I'm gonna hold down the backslash key and I'm just going to do one pass with this object brush through the smoke. I do find that when I do it this way and hold down the backslash key, it does take a moment to think about it, so be patient with the program. Okay, let's see how well it's done. If I toggle that off, you can see there's still a little bit of sky showing. With just a few more refinements using the transition brush, I was able to get this finished version. This is a clip from a longer tutorial I did recently on harnessing the creative power of the background removal tool. Learn more about tweaking the object selection and background cutout and see the full tutorial here. Or you can watch the video at the bottom if you want some additional Luminar Neo training.